Dear friends, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to continue our journey of pen testing. The machine I'm going to do together with you would be Sunset Twilight on the One Hub. The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download and play the machine. From my viewpoint, this machine is very easy, not like uh, what you can see over here, rated by the author as easy and it intermediate. If you can take my methodology, you know, my, I can say that my methodology, this can be done, this can be taken, taken down very shortly, okay, in, even in minutes, okay. Before we go ahead, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You're greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch over to the Caninix VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. The utility I'd like to use, as always, would be net discover. As you can see, I used I used the option I used the option the I to specify the interface so the all packets would be sent from this interface to to wait for the collection wait for the reply and if we can get a response or reply and then we can know which specific machine is on the same network or is alive okay and use the option, the R, to speed up or narrow down the scope of a network, okay? So now we can press enter. As you can see over here, the IP address of the target could be recognized as 200 and 02. The first two you can ignore, no problem. So next what are we going to do next we need to do the port and surface scanning with a map to save time i've already conducted such a scanning before so for now we just cut out its result as you can see over here i use the options like scene scan the virtual scan the default script scan and since scan means send the SYN uh, flag TCP packet to the network to the target machine and uh, dash P dash to do the full range port scan. The last option of all is ON to output the result into this file. Of course, the IP address has been changed from the first time when I did the machine, it, which doesn't matter. So from the map scanning, we can tell that the target has many open port numbers. So there will be, uh, you know, a uh, gold mines uh, here and there. And the first one is 22, which is running SSH surface and also the version information. Although this version is not uh, the most updated, but uh, I don't think we can find any vulnerability except user name immigration vulnerability, what is not what we uh, are interested in at this moment. The next one, 25, as we know, this is always used for used by the SMTP service or simple mail transfer protocol and even give us the service information, including its virtual number. But uh, in many cases, we cannot do very much for this surface. And the next one is 80, which is running HTTP surface and also the version information, Apache 2. And the next two, as I think we have already done so many uh, machines, I think you know what um, uh, these two port number are used for, okay? Used for the Samba surface. And the next one is 2121, which is running FTP surface, even give us the version information, server inf service information. And also from its default script scanning with FTP surface, 
we can be told that the target allows anonymous logging. Okay, afterwards we can check them um, uh, manually uh, if we if necessary. Okay, and the next one is three three zero six, which is running my circle surface, and um, also the virtual information my circle. The version is five point five point five, a bit old. And the next one is eighty eighty, which is running HTTP surface, and also the version information. The last one is also running HTTP surface. I think they are using the same. They are. I think this port the the last two port number are using the same, um, surface or application, whatever. So what we are going to do next? I think, you know, just I mentioned in the other videos, uh, if the target is running the file sharing surface, for example, like Samba surface, the FTP surface, and also the NFS surface, such a surface should be, you know, the first choice to emulate. And also, you know, as you know, the MySQL surface is running on the target. Also, we we need to check whether. Uh, this uh, surface is vulnerable to weak credential vulnerability. Okay, so of course for me, uh, in this case the two types of surface, which are relating to file sharing, for example, like FTP surface and also the Samba surface. However, for me, I'd like to begin uh, with the emulation of the Samba surface. Okay. You know this is just a very personal habit. Okay, so now we can. So how to emulate the Samba surface? The utility. I think I've already made the video. How to emulate the Samba surface? Generally, there will be two types of utilities or two utilities. The first one is MB client, and the second one is the enum for Linux, of course. Okay, so now I'd like to start the emulation uh, by using this one, SMB client, SMB client with the uppercase L option, and we can press enter, and we need to supply the password of my Canon Linux. All right, as you can see. The three shares in total on the target, but the last two are default ones. In most cases, we cannot get anything from those default shares, and this one should catch our attention most, most attention. Okay, so how to access this share on the target? We can use the same utility, but uh, the way will be different. We can use the back word. Slash, and followed by the IP address of the target, and we can copy the shell name, so we do not need to cop, uh, type in, uh, type every character, you know. So now we can press enter, and we need to provide the password again of my Canon Linux. We are in the Samba, and now we can use ls command to list. Actually, this you know we are so wonderful. We even even we are now in the, you know, some sort of the maybe. Of course, this is not the actual shell. However, now we can access all, you know, all resources in terms of directories and the files if we have a permission because different directory or files has it are. You know, require to require specific user to to access. Okay, for example, we can can we next we can check whether we can navigate to home directory and sorry, ls and there is so I think from here we can know that the user, a uh, one normal user is Miguel and we can put on my notebook in case. Uh, we need to such information afterwards, and now we can go inside this uh, directory and uh, list. However, we uh, got access denied 
So I think because of configuration by the machine, although we can navigate into the, this directory, however, we cannot read or access any files under this directory. And next, I'd like to check whether we can access. Yeah, we can. And uh, can we uh, get down the password file? Yeah, oh, has already downloaded. Uh, great. Okay. So now we, we can navigate to, maybe we can navigate to OPT. As we, uh, uh, as in the, you know, the privilege escalation stage, we can do some local immigration, right? Similarly, and uh, we can check whether there is any uh, interesting file under the OPT directory. And no. And uh, now we can go to the var directory and go to the backups. Mm, nothing special. And we can go to the, the you know, www. We can HTML. So, you know, even we have already navigated into the HTML directory. And also for the Samba surface, we need to check whether we have a permission to upload, you know. So now we can, for example, we can put, maybe I'd like to zoom in the terminal to be bigger and bigger. So you can see what's going on exactly, right? I've already got the the PHP reverse or not already, we can copy from my two sets directory, not this one. And we need to, to do some modification. We need to change the IP address of the attacking machine. And port number, for me, I always, of course, you can leave as it is, but for me, I always change it to my favorite port number, 555. And now we can write and quit. So now we, we can check whether we can, oh, sorry, where is, yeah, here, maybe I can zoom in again. Next, we can use the command put to see whether we can upload uh, this shell.php file. We can, no error. So fantastic. It means that we do not need to emulate other types of service because we have already uploaded the PHP reverse file. And even this file is in the, uh, you know, the root uh, directory of the site, of the website. So I think now afterwards we can access this file to get the initial foothold. Okay, so now we can, how to do, we can set up the listener on the Kali Linux. And the next we can fire up our browser. Sorry. Now we can fire up our browser and we can access this uploaded share.php file. Share PHP. And if we press enter, I think we can get the initial for the hold on the target. We can press enter, no error. And now as you can see, we, you know, so this would be very easy, right? If you can take the, some sorts of a methodology, not, uh, you know, do some messy uh, things. Okay. So now we can, uh, since we have, uh, now that we have really got the share on the target, we need to do the local immigration to elevate a privilege. Before we do that, I'd like to spawn more interactive shell. To do that, also we can check the Python version. Python 2 is there, and then we can import a PTY module. PTY spawn and bash. No error. And now we can, you know, can navigate uh, across different locations to see whether we can find some interesting thing. Of course, permission denied. And now we can, maybe we do not need to navigate to the OPT uh, and so on and so forth. Okay. So I think now we need to take advantage of the NinPyr script.
to do the automatic immersion. Okay. And then now maybe here. Bigger, so we have we will have bigger font font, okay. So now uh, I have already got this script ready. Of course, if you have trouble to get this script, please leave it in the comment below, okay. I will reply to you as soon as possible. So next, I think we need to upload this shell script to the target. There will be different ways. For example. We can use the the like the netcat. We can use the we can set up the web server, the web server. You know, and also for example like SACP. So there will be different options to upload. For me, I prefer this way, because this way is easiest way. At least I think so. Okay, and to upload, we need to set up the web server by running Python. You know Python is very easy. As can see, we just、uh, you know the with option of M to specify the module, and the module name is HTTP dot server, and we can press enter. The web server has started listening on the port number eight thousand, and now we can go back, and now we can use double get. We need to check availability of the double get. Double get is there. Or is available, and now we can use wget to upload. Okay. Nimpiers share script Nimpiers, and we need to make it executable to run it. You know, I think of course we can manually emulate or manually make local emulation. But、uh, you know, we we will in in sometimes we will miss、uh, some important information. I think I have already seen a lot of vectors which are highlighted in yellow and the red color. <clears throat> we can scroll up. As you can see here, interesting writable files owned by me or writable by everyone. Passable file, even I do not need to, you know, scroll up. Okay. So I think next we can utilize this、uh, point to elevate our privilege. So how to do? We can cut out the password file, and then we can. Of course, I've already demonstrated this technique、uh, for many many times. We can copy because this is the very important technique. So I'd like to do it again. So next we need to create a new user. And new user, and new user user name. For example, we can use my name, like Jason. You can use any user name, what you are comfortable with. Okay. However, we need to create the encrypted password for the this new user. We can zoom in the terminal. Okay. We can use the open SSL, and as you can see, the I use the password. A command or sub command to generate the password, and also we can use the sort to specify. Of course, you can use any sort, and also specify the hash type. I think this should be、uh, SHA five hundred and twelve. Okay, and the password. Okay, so now we can press enter. And all right, and the encrypted password has been created. We can copy. And can place into the X. We can remove the X and paste in here. Now we can copy the entire line. Okay. And now we need to append to the password file. Okay. So we can use echo and append to password file. No error, right? Now we can change to. The created user JSON and password is one two three four five. Okay, it does work. Okay, fantastic. Now we can navigate to root directory, and then we can cut out the root flag. Of course, I'm not sure whether there is user 
user flag to retrieve. Of course, because we have a root privilege, we can access without any problem. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day, please.